this is an up-to-date program. I am Anna Pershna. Today we are going to discuss um, an issue, very urgent one. Uh, and the guest, uh, welcome our guest in this studio. This is Juliana Gomez, the director of the IT department at Microsoft. Uh, so, Ukraine is moving to Europe. Yes, it's the direction, the, the principal direction of our country. And of course, it's not that easy to do this and to get rid of all the uh, systems, Soviet system that we were living in for years. And of course, on the way, we have our problems to be solved. And the one, the biggest, I think, that this is the bureaucracy in each sphere. Have you met any, have you faced any case, bureaucratic case in your normal life or at work, issuing the visas, the documents, getting the permission for residence? I did, I did, Anna, you know, to, um, uh, as you mentioned, you know, getting into the country, you need to get your visa process, your permits, your residence permits, and then in your daily life, and of course in the business. Um, to give you an example, um, uh, opening a bank account in yep. Ukraine, um, uh, and, uh, you know, I had to go to the local branch uh, three times, uh, physically to the local branch. Um, and when I say that, um, I'm saying that it was for a basic service. So, you know, opening a checking account, um, getting my cards and, and setting up, activating my online banking. So three times going personally, physically to the branch. Um, and then as, you know, we started to, to live in Ukraine and starting doing transactions, yeah. um, you know, I, I saw myself and my husband and we saw that it was very difficult because the online banking was very limited. So to do transactions, we again had to physically go to the bank. Um, we would fill out papers, you know, get uh, copies of identification. And next month, we wanted to do it again. Well, we had to and, again and do the uh, same thing. Yeah, and, and they didn't uh, save your data in the computer that they don't return to this process, to this whole process for another transaction. Yeah, listen, I'm sure there's some data that was, yeah. you know, capped. Mm -hmm. um, the matter of the fact is, you know, for each transaction, and some of them, yeah, are a little bit more robust, you know, international transactions, uh, but they're the same. And the fact that we had, you know, to go to the branch every single month or every time we need to do a transaction, you know, it just disrupts the, sure. you know, your daily life. And sure. when you think about that, you kind of translate that to businesses. Mm -hmm. So yeah, uh, unfortunately we did have, uh, you know, a lot of, uh, there is still a lot of bureaucracy um, in Ukraine. Paperwork, yeah. And a paperwork a lot of paperwork. and a lot of stamps yeah. and, you know, signatures, yes. It takes a lot of time, a lot of effort, right? It of does. You, mm -hmm. Yours and the, the same of the employees, right? Correct. Yeah. And as for the uh, service, I mean the, okay, the paperwork, we, we know that this is the problem. And mm -hmm. what about the service that people, that, that employees give to you? Is it of the level? I mean, are you satisfied? Were you satisfied with the mm -hmm work of employees? Listen, um, you know, bureaucracy is not uh, an issue only for Ukraine. You know, many countries, businesses, you know, we're always trying to, to kill the bureaucracy to improve. Yeah. I think the question is, you know, how can we go about it? What right. can we do right. um, um, to solve that mm -hmm. or to, to keep uh, improving step by step? And um, I guess what, what I could suggest, you know, one way to look into it is is looking at the people, process, and technology. Right. Um, yeah. People first, because people drive processes and technology. And when I talked about people, what I mean um, is uh, getting the mentality of the individuals to be a service. Change and change and of course. Right. Change of course to be more of a service mentality, to be a customer, put the customer Right. front and center mm -hmm. in what all we do, yeah. understand what they care about and solve for it. Um, so that's on the people side. Mm -hmm. um, on the process side, you know, there's a lot of steps. You know, I gave you the example of the bank opening yeah. a bank sure. account. You know, that's a process, you know, opening the bank account. Mm -hmm. um, there's a lot of steps that goes into it. So the idea would be to try to merge these steps, optimize, optimize the, right, the, work. the whole process, mm -hmm. but kill steps, um, uh, eliminate them as much as possible. 
um, because you will gain time, you will save uh, money as money. well, and the resources, right? And the resources mm -hmm. that could then be doing something different. Sure. And last but not least, you know, to your point, you know, you have people uh, uh, um, uh, working on these several process uh, uh, steps. Well, a lot of it is manual. There's a lot of manual work that that I experience. This is right. A lot right. of manual. If we could, you know, start shifting that mm -hmm. a little bit to electronic systems, mm -hmm. moving that to automated, which is my third point on the technology. Yeah. Um, there's so much gain, you know, speed, it's, it would be a huge, and the consistency, because by the way, you know, when it's manual, there's no consistency. Sure. And, you know, consistency and transparency, uh, I think there's a lot to be gained by, you know, potentially looking in this three-step process. Yeah, I see. And uh, as far as I know, you've been working in different countries of the world, mm -hmm. even in different continents, right? Mm -hmm. Can you compare or can you give me an example of the country, of the system, which is the perfect one, or at least which can, um, which can give, which can Ukraine take an, as an example, as a model, mm -hmm. yes, to follow or to take something mm -hmm. and to adapt to the system, to Ukrainian to system, Ukraine. yes, and to um, improve itself. Absolutely. So listen, um, I'm, I'm originally from Brazil. Uh, I lived in the U.S. for many years. I lived in Ireland. Uh, I lived here and now I'm actually moving to Singapore. So I can talk about, you know, my experience on these different countries. And listen, everybody, as I said, you know, have uh, the Their issue. Own, yes. Yeah. Uh, I think what I, what I would uh, suge suggest is that we look into different countries, uh, examples in, in, uh, that we can take on, and really look into electronic services that can be implemented here so we can better serve than uh, not only the customers, but the citizens, you know, the people of Ukraine and the businesses. Um, yeah, you know, Singapore, it's, it's out there, you know, I'm just doing my visa process sure. and, you know, very yeah. simple, very fast. So maybe we're looking to that, you know, the banking systems, I mean, it's, it, it's all out there. So you, you think that technology, technological way of resolving the situation, the bureaucracy and solving this, uh, this problem is uh, one of the main ways, yes, to move to the technology. Yeah, and, and don't forget that, you know, as, as I mentioned, uh, people drive the process and the technology. Mm -hmm. So you kind of have to look it into the people side first all your processes and then technology. The worst thing you can do is improve and optimize a bad process. I see. Well, um, the bad process, I think that all, all our citizens as well, they experience this, but they just cannot, they, they don't have an idea how to do this. That's mm -hmm. why uh, we should, I think, to, to look at the outside, yes, mm -hmm. for the, to the experts and to the foreign, uh, foreign countries' uh, experience. Yes, and we should mm -hmm. took something from it. And as for the, uh, how do you think, how much will it take for Ukraine to change and to approach a little bit to the standards of the civilized countries? You know, I, th I think it would take some time. Um, it would definitely take some time. But I think the idea is um, just keep on doing, just keep on improving, you know, keep, keep on um, um, uh, challenging the status quo. Um, because, you know, sometimes when you look at uh, the problem in such a, you know, a big manner is very hard yeah, and you yeah. might get discouraged. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, pick the first three, four areas and focus on those uh, rather than, you know, trying to be the best as you can be in sure. everything. It's, it's better to move step by step, yes, and it's better that it takes a bit, uh, a bit longer than to move like this, yes, without no experience, without no... So, Speed doesn't mean quality, right? Exactly, exactly. exactly. Yes, and um, what about the, uh, you know, just on the on our way to Europe, we start uh, cooperating with different countries. Mm -hmm. This is our priority, mm -hmm. not only um, in business, but also in other different spheres. How do you think whether it is so risky mm -hmm. or maybe it's, um, I don't know, perspective to invest in Ukraine? Mm -hmm. Listen, um, Ukraine has a huge potential, hands down, a huge potential. And I would say enabling innovation through technology. Um, I believe that would attract more investment, more investors, as, as you can 
um, start to become more transparent, more consistent, you know, clearer, um, it, it would basically be easier to do business with Ukraine. So competency, yes, it is called competency, right? Mm -hmm. So in general, yes, and competency has its uh, some um, some ways to uh, to approach and some ways mm -hmm. to um, to solve and to mm -hmm. reach, right? So maybe you can give any practical advice. Mm -hmm. Yes. So uh, there were there were very a big number of advices that you get, mm -hmm. but can you just the, make the conclusion of which could mm -hmm. be the first one, the second, the most important, mm -hmm. up to you. Mm -hmm. Yes, mm -hmm. as the. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Listen, to me, again, kind of going back to that framework, you know, your people need to come first. Um, we need to change the mentality and have always the customer come front and center first. Service and customer mentality. Looking to the areas that you can start improving, you know, the different processes, the different areas, and then slap some technology on top of it. Mm -hmm. um, I think that kind of a recipe uh, could really work in Ukraine. You know, keep on doing, keep on improving, don't look it back. Um, take uh, examples from others and, um, you know, just be the great. Ukrainian, keep the great Ukrainian culture and, and uh, I think you're going to succeed. Yeah, that's great. And what about, you talked about the people's, uh, people's side of the whole process. Yes, can you just go deeper in it? Uh, mm -hmm. Maybe you experienced some, you had the experience of some contacting uh, people in your daily life. Mm -hmm. Yes, is it, how is it? How is it working and living mm -hmm. among Ukrainians? Mm -hmm. um, listen, we had a wonderful time. My family and I have a wonderful time. Um, Ukraine is going to be very special because we had our daughter here. So Ukraine is going to be always be super special uh, to me and my family. Um, we were welcome. Uh, we were guests in, in your country. Uh, we were very welcome. And I think it's, it's really about us trying to understand you know the ways that the things are done here understand there's a big baggage to your point that comes from the history of the country sure. and you know that's going to take some time um, um, to to change and change is hard um, so so yeah you, you know if you understand um, how why things are the way it is you know you feel much uh, much more uh, at ease um, and it's it might be hard to do things at times, but there's nothing that I couldn't have done, couldn't have done here. So, so was it hard, was it, but always could done everything I wanted. Yeah. Was it was it too difficult for you to adapt first to to living and working here? You know, the language is hard, of course. Mm -hmm. uh, my first language is Portuguese. I, you know, there's Spanish and English, I guess. <laughs> um, so the language is is definitely something that was difficult to just you know uh, uh, try to understand. Um, there's not a lot of people that would speak English. Um, there are some. That, that's the point as well. Yeah, and you know, it is the business language, and you know, I know the country is trying to make an effort you know you see more of the young generation that do uh, speak or trying to speak and in the school so I'm seeing uh, uh, the graduates um, uh, they are speaking English you know yeah. coming out um, we should we should we must even must so you know it is coming out so you know to your point you know, it's gonna take some time you know there's this new generation come, uh, uh, um, out there and and they do speak great English um, not that mine is great. So, um, <laughs> yeah, so yeah, it was difficult. You know, the language was difficult at times. Mm -hmm. um, and, you know, what we are talking about, the different steps, and, and there's a lot of signature, a lot of paperwork uh, and stamps, and say, no, you can do that. Um, you know, why? And then you start asking the question, why, if you do it in a nice way, you you so, pretty much can solve it. <laughs> yeah, if, if, the, if there weren't the personnel of your company who helped you to do this, yes, who guided you in the way, yes, it would be really hard for you to but to do it to to do all the processes by yourself, right? So it we should we is. should we should be more orientated. To, we should be more client orientated and maybe guest orientated. Yeah, I agree. To, I agree. To I, be adopt. Mm -hmm. To be um, to be get to get to Europe and to get to the world community, we need to change a lot. But mm -hmm. have we got the potential? Absolutely, hands down. 
Yes. <laughs> okay. Great. Thank you very much, Juliana. So we've discussed uh, the top issue today, the bureaucratic, and we started to discuss another very interesting and um, very crucial points. So we'll try to implement and to develop these points. For now, the time is over. I'm telling you goodbye. <laughs>